by the way, the reason I'm using a fake name for this guy is because he's obviously a little crazy, though aren't we all? And I'm afraid he would sue me if I put his name in, so we're not going to do that. Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, I'm going to be telling you a fun little story. But no, I am not The Gabby Show, nor am I Tana Mojo. I don't know how to have a stalker, and I do not have crazy Uber stories. But, I do have a fun little ex story. So, back way in freshman year, I met this kid we're going to call Corey. We started talking, then we started texting, and we were talking at the time about a guy I had a crush on for a very long time. And I got to thinking, who does Corey like? Let's ask. And so I did. And it went just like this. I don't know if I want to tell you. That's okay, you don't have to. Dot dot dot. You. Me? Question mark. Yes, you. And I was blown away. Because I am a tubby, tiny, ugly little girl. And I especially was in freshman year. So nobody had ever told me that they liked me in any way that was more than a friend. And I was shook. So, being desperate and alone, I decided I would ask him out on Valentine's Day because I'm cheesy. And that's exactly what I did and that's exactly how he said yes on that very, very fateful night. So, we dated. We never kissed, we never hung out outside of school. He put his arm around me a couple times. We sat next to each other at lunch. He, we hugged sometimes. That was about it. We texted a lot because I am a very dependent person. I attach and I snatch and I can't let go because I'm disgusting. But that's what I was and what I still am. But so four months later, I started thinking, I don't know this kid very well. We never hang out. We only talk, you know? We don't even really play video games together. We just kind of coexist with this title, boyfriend and girlfriend. So I decided I think I might have made a mistake, but not a bad one. Simply just too soon. My parents do not know, did not know then that we ever dated. Because I wasn't allowed to date. But I was young and angsty and I still am. But I wanted to and I said yes and I wanted to feel like somebody loved me. So. Four months in, I decided we need to call quits. Just for now, you know? I was like, oh, we're just young and we don't know each other that well. Let's become friends first. So I broke us up. He was very upset, even though, like I said before, we had talked about this. We mentioned that we don't know each other that well, that we probably should have become friends first. But yet he was so, so angry. I think in his heart he felt like I was just trying to get away from him because I didn't come across very clear, I guess. I was young, he was young, we were both crazy, we were both stupid. So he was very upset and we hardly talked at all and whenever it did it would be like, me, hey, him, what? It was very aggressive for a very long time. I was very sad because I didn't want to leave him, leave him, I just wanted to become closer as friends so we could get in, to know each other a little bit more. We knew each other for like half a semester, then I asked him out, then we broke up. I wanted to get to know him more personally than just leaving, you know? And I feel like he took it as break up, go away. Whereas I wanted this break up connection and it sucked because I did it because I wanted to get closer and it ended up pushing us apart. So that's kind of where we went as a downward spiral. So we broke up the very beginning of summer and I was upset about it because obviously he started pushing away but I wanted to draw closer. Slowly as summer went on I decided I don't care. If he doesn't want to be with me he doesn't want to. That's fine. So I was like, whatever, I don't even need him, blah, 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 But then sophomore year started, and it was the fact that I saw him in the hallways, and I never got to say anything, and I never got to text him, and it sucked. All right, it sucked. I went through 
The first three out of four quarters of sophomore year, extremely depressed, extremely sad. It was horrible. I had gone from the highest, happiest point of my life to the lowest in a month. And it sucked horribly. I wrote depressing poetry all the time. I would text him and he never would respond. It was bad. I don't actually, I think it was sophomore year. No, it might have been junior year. I don't remember. I think it was sophomore year. Early sophomore year, maybe. I made a fake, because this was back when Skype was cool. I made a fake Skype account and friended him. And we talked. Like, it wasn't even me. And it felt so nice. Though, through it, I kind of learned that he liked somebody else. And it kind of made me upset. But it was whatever. We weren't even together. It didn't even matter. But I did all the same. Then, me and him started talking again. And I was like, oh, I don't need this fake account anymore. And instead of just ghosting him on the fake account, because I knew that that would hurt him, because people leave him and he does not like that. So instead, I just told him it was me. And that sent us in a downward spiral again, because he did not like the fact that I lied to him, which I completely understand. Why would you want somebody to lie to him? It kind of broke his trust a little bit, which I don't really understand how, because if you think about it, I was being very honest with you. But it's fine. Sucks to suck, I guess. And so that kind of sent us back into a downward spiral. Then it was at, I think it was very towards the end of sophomore year, if I'm right. I could be wrong because everything tends to blend together, but I'm highly certain it was towards the end of sophomore year. I joined the sign language club, partly because my friends were in it, mainly because he was in it. I joined it. We started talking again, and it kind of seemed just a little bit like he liked me. Like, liked me. And I was like, ooh, is this why he's been mean to me this whole time? Because he really secretly liked me in his heart, but he couldn't have me, and so he couldn't tell me? Probably. My mom thought it, my friends thought it, I'm pretty sure he thought it. Because, specifically, I think this because it was the first day we were going to Sign Language Club, and he would text me. He'd be like, what's your seventh hour? And I'd be like, oh, well, math room 204. And he'd be like, okay, I know where that is. Let's meet up and I'll walk you to sign language club. And I said, oh, okay. But he took too long and I saw my other friend that was in it and I got really nervous because I'd never been to the room. So I was like, duh, snatch on and go. And then he texted me, why didn't you wait for me? Kind of sad face. And I said, I'm so sorry. I got really scared, blah, blah, blah. He came, I there, I was there. It was a big party because it was like the last day of Sign Language Club. It was fun. Another reason I think thought he liked me because a couple weeks in the Sign Language Club, he stopped coming. And I was concerned and my friends were concerned because they were also friends with him. So I texted him, hey, why aren't you coming to Sign Language Club? He said, I can't do this anymore and I said what does that mean and he said I just can't talk to you and he left and I'm pretty sure because he liked me maybe that's because I'm self-centered I don't know I'll never know because again after that he stopped talking to me again ghosted or out of the blue stop talking to me no explanation just poofed and he was gone and again my little tiny heart shattered Broken to pieces, dust flying all over the place, again. This boy broke my heart more than anybody else in the world has, countless times, plenty. Junior year starts, I think it's second quarter. I meet, through him, somehow, my friend Hayden, who I have a whole nother story time, eventually I'm gonna film and inform you on that whole adventure. But right now we're th focusing on Corey. So, by the way, the reason I'm using a fake name for this guy is because he's obviously a little crazy, though aren't we all? And I'm afraid he would sue me if I put his name in, so we're not gonna do that. It's second quarter, junior year. I start dating Hayden. They're friends, and so Corey comes back into my life. It's chill again. It's not as close as we've been in the past, but we're hanging out. We're going places. I'm helping him with schoolwork. We're in a couple classes. It is what it is, you know? We go driving some nights. It's fun. I'm having a blast. Somewhere along the line again, 
he decides he does not like the idea that I'm dating somebody so much younger than me, which I could understand because it, to some people it did disturb them. I was in junior year, my boyfriend was in 8th grade. I can understand where that's creepy, though it's not illegal, so keep you out of the comments. It's not illegal, you're nasty. You're nasty. I'm nasty. <laughs> but so he decided that that disgusted him, and so beginning of senior year, he stopped being my friend again. And I have tried countless times to reach out to him. He has blocked me on literally everything. Like, Discord. I'm sure Skype, even though I don't even have Skype anymore. Discord, Snapchat, Instagram. I didn't even have him on Snapchat, and I'm sure I'm blocked. That's cuckoo. Twitter, everything. And it sucked. And it sucks right now. Because I just went through a really hardship, and I really, really, really wanted him to be my friend. Because everything was so much fun when he was around. And it sucks. So hey, Corey, you know who you are. If you could, if you will, see this. Give me another chance. I don't know what I did to hurt you, but I promise if you let me know what it was, I won't ever do it again. Because I need a friend right now, and you're awesome. Honestly, when you're not being a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, you're awesome. And I'd love to be your friend again. But that was it for this video, guys. If you want more story time videos like this, I'm trying to be more active, getting up from a chair, moving around. Let me know. But yeah. I don't really have a great outro. I really need to figure one out. Until next time, guys. If you want to see more videos like this and more, hit subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. Anything. Comment your thoughts. Should I even invite Corey back into my life? I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's probably going to say no. He's probably not even going to see this. But it is what it is. See you guys in the next video.